Hello and welcome to a new run of The Binding of Isaac. This time I thought we might try something different. Uh, who haven't we done yet? That isn't going to be painful to do. Um, oh, we could, we could go with Maggie. Maggie's pretty trash, but I don't think anyone's seen a Maggie run yet. Let's give us a go. Oh, swine, it's a big one. Okay, so this is Maggie. Maggie starts with the Yum Heart, which lets us heal one heart, which is, yeah, quite good, actually. It's, it's not the worst item to start with, certainly. Ooh, okay, that's a good start. Let's see what item we get. Don't be trash, please. Range up. Okay. That's a very decent item. Can't argue that. Stat ups are always handy. So, uh, let's go this way then. I've done. The Polaroid. Hmm. That will be useful for later if I need it. Um, I've done a couple of runs, uh, which were just like quick, showing off glitches kind of runs, or the ending. So, we'll try and do a full run this time. Of course, it does rely on the game not screwing me over massively. So, we will see. Oh, no, 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 don't you dare. Oh, way ahead of you, sir. I knew which way you're going, when to head you off. You're all like, I'm going to sneak up behind you and be all creepy and such. Not today, you're not. Oh, no. Today is my day. Or, in this case, Maggie's day. Keys and a bomb. This is looking quite promising, actually. Um, I tend to dislike the extra large basements, mainly for the fact that you only have one shop. So if you get loads of coins, you can only spend them in one shop. And inevitably, it'll be greed, because greed likes screwing you over. Look how pretty he looks with the lipstick and the wig. I mean, not the wig, totally just... Oh, crap. Let's see if we can clear this room out. We got the range, we should really use it. There we go. Oh, Java's telling me how it wants to update. It's very nice for Java, but a uh, bit busy here, you know? And no one actually updates you, Java, don't you realise this? Everyone always says no. You keep asking. The answer's always no. Every time. My, my answer hasn't changed. Oh, the black bean. That's, that's pretty loud. Pretty lousy, I have to be honest. So if I get hit, I fart and people run away from me, I think. Um, not really the best of items, but uh, we, we'll work with what we've got. You never know, we might get two amazing bosses. The best thing to do, really, is try and not to be hit and see if we can get cheese ourselves a Satan room. That would probably be the most effective thing here. Mm, got some lots of coins there as well, which would be useful. One thing I do want to check, let's blow this up first. Guess whatever's in this chest. I want to check if I can get the secret room here, because that'd be useful. Which, in theory, will be here. Whether it actually will be or not, I don't know. Away with you, mouse. Not cares. Right. Um. Yeah, so. This is where I kind of wing it. I hope for the best, really. It looks like there should be a secret room here. Ah, swine. But it's clearly there wasn't. Um. Alright, that's not not biggie. I mean, I got one useful item and one meh item. Not terrible, but not particularly effective. Um, I know Kikoski happens to like the black bean slightly more than me. Um, I'm not a massive fan. I think it's more useless and helpful, but there you go. So it basically takes up a perfectly good item slot for something not very good, really. It's about as good as a fart in the wind, which is pretty much what it is. Mum's Pearl. Ooh, I think this... I guess cookbook. Eh, I'd rather take the Yum Heart, quite frankly. Anarchist Cookbook, not so good. In case you're wondering what that does, if I push spacebar, everything, it drops those troll bombs, kind of like that guy did just there. Where's the Yum Heart? Mm, still, I mean, it's still useful. You I know, mean, it actually restores health. I mean, that's... There isn't many items that do that. It isn't the best, but hey. See, here's where our range comes in handy. So I can just pepper them from a distance. Without any risk to myself. Which is what you need to do at the early stage when you haven't got much damage. Kind of like Maggie. Ah, oh, you swine! You hide behind your rocks of woe. Ah, that's right, died. Cool. And since I'm absolutely weeing up bombs, I may as well get everything I can. And hopefully find another coin to check out the shop. Definitely check out the shop, because look at that. That is. Hope if I position this right, I should blow up both. Yep, there we go. One bomb gets as many coins. Very useful. So, while we found the boss room, I'm see if I can gun for another key. Because that means I can investigate the shop, which would be handy. Because I might get I might get something amazing like item martyr and just troll up with the troll with the uh, yum hut. Oh, you swine! There goes my uh, no damage. So, Satan probably not going to be very impressed by that. Oh well. That was a little bit too close. Should just blow him up. Aha! Key! Good. Ah, right. In case you've never seen this before, if uh, leapers get into fire, they tend to leap harder and faster, really. Which is always obnoxious. Ugh. What I can do, though, is show you the Yum in action. Ooh, yunk. There we go. 
And I think it's... I think they improved it so it does two charges a room. Stop being an asshole. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Good. Oh, good, a second key. That's very, very handy. And we'll just polish off the rest of the map, because pff, why not? Might as well while we're here. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. You're all like, but I'm just not interested. You can be all like, to everyone else, but Maggie, she's still a boyfriend. Probably. Even though she's like, weird baby monster. Naked. Probably Isaac in a wig. Probably like five. Should probably stop making this joke, getting creepier. Yeah, let's stop doing that. I'm going to blow up a turn now with the bomb. I was hoping for the rock, that would have, the small rock would have been useful, but Maggie's already really slow, I'm not necessar that's not necessarily the best thing that could have happened. I mean, Maggie's damage isn't the worst, it's, it's not amazing, sure, but whatever. I got six bombs, I may start testing some corners, like here. No. It's very hard, especially in the extra large ones, to judge where the, uh, the secret rooms will be. Because there's almost no way of telling. Normally, you get them like say here and here, because it's, ev it's a blank room surrounded by lots of other stuff. But problem is, being being this kind of map, it really could be anywhere, and I'm not going to waste all my bombs trying to find out. It's just not worth it. I may need them for something. I I may get an amazing item or may not. I mean, I'd love to find them. If I get X-ray specs in the shop, I'll be good looking. Ooh, Mum's pill purse, 15 coins. Yeah, it's worth a look, I suppose. Oh wait, that's more trinket room. Ah, that's definitely worth it. Okay, which means I can pick up the Polaroid as well. So I can get two trinkets. I mean, Mum's pearl and the Polaroid are probably not the best things in the world, but hmm. oh, I got salt. Oh no, I didn't. That's familiar. <laughs> Whatever. Don't even know what I'm talking about. So I can pick up this and get both. See, that's actually, that's actually worth the 15 coins. That is pretty good. Um, if I really want, to, I could blow up the other side and pick up the coins in here because I may as well. It's another five coins. May come in handy for the next floor. You never know. Right, let's go see what the first boss is. Don't be a horseman. I, I don't like the horsemen, they're very boring. Eh, monstro. Monstro dull. Monstro not that bad, though. Be so happy. You gotta love him. He's like, yay, look at my face. It's a really dodgy looking... Could be implied it'd be looking like something else. If maybe dodgy. No, probably not. No, just me, probably. Anyway, he's very happy. That's the most important thing here. Aren't you? You happy soul. That's why I'm crying at you, so you'll not be happy, and you'll die. It'd be nice if I get a saving room out of this. I probably won't. I think the chance is slightly more likely on the extra larges. I'm not 100% on that, though. Mainly because two bosses. I think it's got a double chance of spawning. But that's basically affected by doing evil things as well as not being hit. Evil things such as blowing up the uh, gamble babies and whatnot. And clan baby. Die, please. There we go, and that's good, that's a good item. Shot speed up, so doop, doop, doop. they're faster. With the range, that's useful. And Larry Juniors, mm, again, easy peasy. We stand over here, shoot them till they die. Pro tip, shoot the Larry Junior till it dies. The only problem with this boss is they're a little bit random. If you're trying to do for a no damage run, they can screw over just by suddenly turning around. So unless you're playing it very, very safe, it can be a little bit annoying. Yeah, not a lot to see here, or a lot to say. I'm shooting tears at some poo-laying monstrosities in a basement, covered in blood. Damn it! Well, the black bean actually poisons us. Okay, that's better than I thought. I thought it actually makes things go away. Eh, I take it back. Black beans. You got upgraded from mediocre to decent. There we go. Meat. Tears and HP up. That's good. That's good. And I'm angry. <laughs> Meat. Uh, okay, I guess we go. Whoop. Down we go. What was that? Nine minutes. That's not too bad. And we get a bigger map now, sweet. Eh, bigger map's actually not too bad, really. Um, of all the curses, Curse of the Lost is my favourite, probably. The only downside is it can sometimes not spawn an item room, which can really screw you over. What the? Why the hell are they firing so slow? I could have sworn that was firing slow. Oh dear, that was terrible. Uh oh. Question mark, question mark, question mark, soul. Wow, that's a trinket? Sweet! I'm having that. Now that was something useful. That's because I did the, uh... I did the, um, cathedral. As, believe it or not, Eve. And I unlocked that, which should be from question mark, question mark, question mark. Don't know how this came about. 
not going to question it. It's a better item than what Eve drops, so what else? And considering it was Eve, it was a hell of an easy run because I had loads of items. Yay! And he's quite good, he fires homing tears. It's very useful. And these things are extremely annoying. Go away, please. Thank you. Look at these things. They walk they walk around and spit out spiders. If that isn't horrific, I don't know what is. <laughs> wow, we're going good. Go on, Em. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ah, these things are easy. The only problem is the lack of damage, which will make this very slow unless I start getting some. Although meat being hilariously good is always useful. Tears up's quite a useful thing. Dunk. And um, they'll spawn here. Okay, we need to... We need to get them all in a good tight circle. Makes this a bit easier to shoot them. I wonder if uh, that dead baby soul uses up um, a slot. Uh, like a familiar slot. You can only have three active ones that will start overwriting each other, I think. I wonder if that counts. I'm interested to find out. do please. Nasty globbing things. And we've got... Oh, lame. That's a crappy room. Lame. I'm very bad at dodging these guys. There we go. And my reward was a troll bomb. Gee, thanks. Um, it's probably worth it for the uh, goodies I got. That's what I'm going to keep telling myself anyway. Goodbye, Mum's Pearl. You were incredibly useless. Increased chance of soul hearts, I think. And I got like two. Oh, lame. Still, I'm getting lots of coins, which is handy. Taking an awful lot of damage where I shouldn't be. Being slow never helps. Being too fast never helps either. That's another thing. If, if you're too quick, that's almost as much detriment, detriment as being too fast. Uh, too slow, even. <laughs> gotta go fast. Mainly because you keep you're running around at the speed of sound, got a place to go, got to fill your rainbow, which means you can't really effectively dodge stuff because you're moving too fast. Although the same is true of being slow. If you are too slow, you can't run around at the speed of sound, you don't have any places to go, you can't follow any rainbows, and you always get hit by stuff. Right, uh, oh, use that. Um, I'm gonna go find the item room and the and the shop, which is inevitably gonna be greed because pff, I've got lots of money and I need a shop. Let's not get hit by Gish. That'd be great. Ah, Gish, you're here to lag up my game, I see. Thanks for that. Good man. And I've got essentially enough keys to open everything I need. Oh yeah, you guys can go to hell. Come on, dead baby. No, dead baby, you traitorous scumbag. You opened the way. This is gonna suck. Ugh. They two close quarters. That's alright, I'll be able to heal up. It's not really I'm not really too worried. It's what the like, yum heart's actually quite good for. Come on you, die please. Die, 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 thank you. Alright. And we have little Chad. That's actually quite good. He gives hearts. He gives hearts every fourth room, and this can be greed. Dunk. Nope. The map. I'll have that. Very useful. And it should show me the location of all the secret rooms. Or the one secret room. Yeah, which is over there. Cool, cool. Yeah, we got two familiars that are just going to chill out. Roll around. Wow, he's actually following... Oh, that's really cool. I didn't know that. He follows after that little guy instead of me. Neat. Oh, come on. You horrible people. This run is going to be cut short by absolute terrible, terrible enemies everywhere. In fact, that Maggie is awful. You are slow and obnoxious, Maggie, and I'm going to die. Yep. Ah! Oh, no! I wonder if that's what the Polaroid does. Wow, I actually made it out of that. I'm quite impressed. Oh, well. <laughs> that's unfortunate. I should stop attacking these. He stopped spawning them after a while. He says. I thought he did. Oh! I may have been mistaken. Uh, the lack of damage really sucks. I mean, the HP is great if you end up with, um, with the Satan rooms because you can sacrifice hearts to get more damage and stuff. Mm, Bob's Rotten Head is kind of cool. Don't really need it. It's probably better than the Yum Heart, I think. It charges every single room and it's like a free bomb, if it's what I think it is. Yeah, it is. Whee! Boom. That's what it does. I'd like that better than the Yumheart. I'm gonna have little Chad to give me hearts now anyway. And it charges faster, essentially. Uh, I should go and pick up all those hearts, really. 
How dull. I'm very... I apologise for the drabness of this, so I will go get some health. Whee! Go on, you frowning man-woman thing. Let's go. Ooh, let's avoid that. Five hearts, Catacombs one is not too bad, now I think about it. The only downside is the lack of damage. Which, uh, three. It's not awful. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, that's right. I can go in here. Don't be greed. Uh, one of these slot machines. I might see if I can get anything better than the Polaroid. Probably not. I might get a crystal ball item or something. Yes! Oh, did I call that? Now that's even better. So it gives hearts, which is useful. It gives me a free card, like, every room or so. Um, or every six rooms or whatever it is. And it also gives me a chance of getting soul hearts and stuff, which is really cool. So, yeah, that 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 was well worth it. Neat. And we've got Gertie Jr., which is... I've never seen this version of Gertie Jr. It's be uh, should be interesting. He doesn't seem to have much HP. Oh dear. Leave me alone, Gertie Jr. I've never done anything to you. I think the general gist of it is stay the hell away from him. Which I'm working on. Ugh. Oh, well, nice poison from my evil fart. I wonder how long he says poison for. Yeah, quite a long time. There we go, he's down. And more health! With stem cells. Dunk! Hey, Now I look like even more of a freak. Good stuff. Let's go. Caves 2. Ooh, let's check out the secret room first. Three coins. Oh, game, do you treat me? Alright, I've got two choices. I can go left or right. I'm gonna go left first, because I think that might be where the item room is. And uh, that's a really easy, easy room. These guys are late game enemies, and the game loves chucking them as early stuff. Try and throw you off. Uh, which, if you've ever played the game, doesn't really bother you. Oh wow, these enemies got screwed over really hard. <laughs> doo -doo 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 -doo. Sucks for you guys. Neat. Alright. Oh, Super Greed! Cheers, game! That was real well worth my key. If I can dodge the greed heads, that'd be useful. So I don't, again, I don't think he spawns that many if I don't kill them all. Of course, I will lose vast quantity of cash. It's rather annoying. Ugh. Go away! You're wasting all my cash, you horrible people! Damn. Greed is really... These greed heads are really obnoxious. They fire horrible, horrible shots. Makes it really quite a nightmare to dodge them. And greed him, Super Greed himself is really fast. There we go. Almost got him. What did he drop? So, I basically lost nothing. I, I, I gained a coin. And lost a load of hearts. And I lost a key. Sweet. Sweet! It's well worth it. Gee, thanks game. Appreciate that greatly. Right. Let's see if we can get the... the, the oh, you managed to get out. That's annoying. The trick of these guys, though, is when, when there's just a few of them, you just stand still. Oh, do I waste a bomb for that? Probably. Ooh. Oh, that is so lame. Yeah, I'm gonna have to waste a bomb to get it. Okay, we go the other way now. So that means boss there, probably shop here. That's my estimate. So we'll see if I can make it there alive, of course. Ah, greed heads. More of you bastards, always nice. Dunk, 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 dunk. We gotta stand directly in front of them. We get hit. And I ended up with a card, which was the Hanged Man. I what that does. No, I'm gonna test it. There we go. It was worth using. So I can get away from these assholes. Ooh. Shame they don't hurt each other with that. That'd be quite handy. Ooh, what do I get? 
Temperance, which is a blood machine, I think. Which unfortunately is no real use to me at the moment, because I don't have enough health. We'll do the gamble room. Aw, oh, lame. This is going to be a crappy room. Oh dear. Mm, I got hit once. I could do the really boring thing and spend like a billion years in the shop in here, which may have to, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do that. Hmm. That's dull. Alright, I'm gonna stop recording then do this for the time being then. Uh, stop.